Now this video is going to be about using shellac and how I use shellac in my, my shop. Let's take a look at some of the different, um, I don't know, forms that shellac can take. Um, in a previous video I talked about mixing shellac and I showed um, this particular chart showing the cut and what I have here in this jar um, is a two pound cut of shellac. Now it's a little heavier, okay, so if I'm using that and it seems like it's drying too quickly, I can simply add a little bit more alcohol. And what I used previously, something I learned, was using um, isopropyl alcohol, okay, and it doesn't have all the ingredients that denatured alcohol has, that's kind of your your choice. Now, where would I not use shellac? Here is a, a beautiful little egg I turned, <laughs> and it's got lacquer on it. Lacquer is going to impart the least amount of color into your piece. This one is one of the Four Ways video projects. It's the hollow form. It's box elder and I would not use shellac on this. I'm using lacquer. Okay, so there's a big choice. Do you use lacquer, shellac? Ordinarily we're talking about pieces that may not get handled very much, hopefully. This piece is going to sit on a shelf. People are going to look at it. Okay, nice burl. So uh, if I'm using shellac on something, it's going to impart a little bit of color. It may be kind of an orangey color. This is um, a combination of shellac and mineral oil. Okay, and the reason I use the mineral oil down here, and I'll show you that on a piece right over there on another lathe, is the uh, mineral oil acts as a lubricant. Okay, it's a little bit of a um, friction polish, okay, kind of. Kind of. Um, here's one, that's a store-bought friction polish. It's a doctor's wood shop. I really like it, uh, but you're going to spend 30 bucks on this container. Okay, and I'm reading on the back of it, it says, High Build Friction Polish is a shellac-based primarily for wood turning okay and it dries very quickly it's got shellac in there I'm not sure what else maybe some uh, denatured alcohol you're gonna find uh, a spray shellac which I use sometimes this is Zinser and they were established in uh, 1849 in this country so at that time there weren't a lot of finishes and shellac was one of them they could get from Europe perhaps here's another one this is another, uh, what I would call a friction polish. It's shine juice, okay? And that was popularized by Captain Eddie. Boil linseed oil, alcohol, and shellac, equal parts, okay? And that's kind of a friction polish. Now this video is all about using shellac as a finish, or maybe a sealer. In this video, I put, uh, finish on a couple of items, this little spindle turning and an egg stand that I needed, <laughs> uh, but they're totally finished with shellac. If I have something like a bowl this big, well, I'm going to go with an oil all the way. Linseed oil, tongue oil, polyurethane, varnish of some sort. Um, anyway, I want to leave the possibility open for you that shellac is a pretty good finish all by itself. And I um, don't need to say much more than that. So let's, uh, let's go back to the video and uh, see what else we can uh, discover about shellac. All right, now let's take a look at the first example of using shellac. All right, I've got an old spindle. This is probably from some practice or something. It almost looks like oak. Um, this is not going to be very complicated. What I have here is a little container. It's plastic. 
and I've got a, a, a turned plug in the top of that, okay? And that works really well. It's all gunked up, but it's shellac. So I could put shellac on this little spindle and not put anything else on there. I turn the speed down pretty low. I got this between centers, spur drive and a live center. And I'm gonna just, you know, put the shellac on there while it's rotating. And it's a lot easier to finish and sand when your lathe is spinning. Now what I've got here is a two pound cut. And what might happen with a heavier cut of shellac is it starts to dry and gum up. All right, so I'm gonna stop applying shellac right there. And I'm gonna just buff it in a little bit with my paper towel. Now, it's still wet. I can, I can feel it, it's uh, still tacky. It may take five or 10 minutes for that to dry. And there's a finish, that's all I need to do on that. I could apply two or three more coats um, and that would be sufficient. And it's already starting to reach a point where it really isn't tacky anymore. I'm gonna just do a little bit of buffing, turn my lathe up, find a dry spot on my paper towel, So there's a shellac finish. Now, I feel that shellac is a really good foundation for other finishes. I could put an oil on top of this. I could put tongue oil or linseed oil or anything on top of this or just leave it as a finish. Now, let me, let me very quickly apply another coat. Okay, now, I can see that this piece of wood is still wet. So I'm gonna just kind of rub that in a little bit. And I can see a little shinier finish on that. So if you build up two or three or four coats, you might get a little bit uh, more shine. Now, one aspect of applying either lacquer or shellac is each subsequent coat of finish will blend into the previous coat, okay? And the only way to really build up a heavy, thick coat is to spray it. Spray the shellac on there. Let it dry, keep spraying it. You could put five or 10 coats on there. But the way I'm doing it right now, the coat I just put in blends in with the previous coat of shellac. Simple as that. Okay, now if you remember, I was using the mixture of shellac and mineral oil. Okay, it's a little bit, uh, you know, a third cousin to French polishing, although that may be an insult to French polishers everywhere. Turn the speed down, mix it up a little bit, we're good. I'm going to just apply that with the paper towel on the inside there. Now one of the reasons for the mineral oil is while my lathe is spinning, there's a lot less uh, chance of of the shellac drying too soon and gumming up a little bit when I'm applying it like this. Um, after a while that mineral oil will not be there. Got a little spot right here in that groove. There we go. Okay, now I'm turning my lathe in reverse by the way. I'm going to wipe it off with a dry spot on my towel. Take a look at it. Yeah, that's uh, 
that's very pretty. I've got some dust in there. I also put some grooves in here just as a slight decoration. Now I'm going to take a piece of uh, laminate and clean out these grooves. Yeah. I just got some gunk in there. So there we are. That's, that's using shellac and it's really pretty simple. I'm going to turn the speed up a little bit. Do a little bit more buffing now. You can apply two or three coats to this. Um, you could also apply some wax on top of that. So there we are. There's my my egg stand. And that wood is a little bit different. It's it's pretty. All right, now I've got three coats of my shellac on there. All right, they've all blended together. And I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take some of uh, Tom Ackley's Polishing and Restoring uh, Paste. It's just wax. Okay. And I'm going to just put a coat of that on there. Probably unnecessary. Find a clean place on my paper towel. Turn the light back on. But you can do this. You can use shellac as, as a foundation. I, that's what I call it, a foundation. Uh, I could put an oil on top of this. I could put maybe even lacquer on top of that. So I'm, I'm just putting a little bit of uh, Tom's wax on there. Let's turn the speed up just a little bit and we'll do, do a little bit of uh, polishing. All right, I like it. That turned out pretty good. Let me take some, some proper pictures of that and I'll show you the final result. Now I could show you five or ten more examples of using shellac as a finish. Okay, or, or as a sealer. I often make a little hollow form like this and sometimes the wood is still wet. I will put shellac inside the vessel, slosh it around and seal it that way so it doesn't dry out too fast. Here's another one. Okay, with a small opening. Sometimes I use shellac as a sealer on something like this. I may not use Shellac is a final finish, but there are options, and shellac is an amazingly versatile finish that's um, really a, a good finish just all by itself.